All right, uh, they are still loading music and art festival. Is that still loading? It's, uh, yeah. What's the name of this again? Still loading. Still loading. Still loading. That's it. There's, it's the name of a very tricky name. I thought it was unloading. That's the next year's one. Uh, still loading musical. That's the name of the art festival. It's getting underway in a couple of hours. That's right. We're going to check back in with Fox 2's Veronica Meadows. Hey, Veronica, good morning. Hey, Marielle. All right. Still loading music and art festival kicking off in less than two hours here at 11 a.m. Reem Nasser is the DJ opening everything back up this morning. Reem, you have to be so excited to kick everything off here. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about you, how you got into the music scene. Um, So I'm a single mom of four. Um, how I got into the music scene is like when I first moved into Detroit, I kind of like started going to a few venues, listening to house music. I've heard about Movement Festival, which is like everybody probably heard about the first time that I've been there, you know, the whole whole house techno scene I loved it and then the pandemic happened and it got us a little locked up so I couldn't I guess I can listen to it but I like the mixing part of it and like playing around with the whole effects picked up a little mixer just started like playing around with it and then you know like just had time to practice and here we are right now <laughs> and here you are fast forward more than a year later you're yeah. opening here at the still loading festival tell us a little bit about Detroit's music scene for people who may not know you know really much about it yeah um like in detroit music scene i'd say in general is like one of the heart of like all music scene in the world like we got kevin sanderson we got a lot of like i said big djs how i met actually um melissa was just the person that runs the whole event was actually in uh, detroit festival if you heard of sharivari it's like a free festival free for all she was doing art i was kind of like working um the festival i was actually just bartending back then it was two years ago but i feel like i love detroit because it's a small community um, everybody kind of like gets close with everybody the music does a lot of like effects like everything and we got a lot of house music DJs we got a lot of techno like uh, we got uh, moody man we got Shigeto like I said we got Kevin Sanderson we got so many on the list that like you know we got even DJ holographic which is like one of the new female DJs that I just like you know so the equipment is getting set up everything is almost ready to go do you get nervous out here uh, honestly, it's something that I learned is like as a DJ, every set you get as nervous as your first time. It's like I was like asked, I was like, do you get, I mean, like you, you think you get used to it. It's it's almost the first time, like every time you just like, for, but as soon as you let the groove gets in, I guess the first 10 minutes or whatever, when you get in that groove, you're like, okay, I got this, but it's so worth it every time. For sure. Well, we're already getting into the groove. The music just kicked off literally just moments ago. Reem is opening up here uh, at 11 a.m. More information about the festival is on your screen. As we speak, it's free. You do have to pre-register in advance, though. If you want more information, we'll, of course, have that for you on Fox 2 Detroit. Com. Also, the festival is 18 and up, so something to keep in mind. Again, it all starts at 11 a.m., continues tomorrow. All of the fun goes until 11 p.m. We're in live in Beacon Park in downtown Detroit this morning. Veronica Meadows, we'll see you after the break.